Hi, I am Kumar from Oracle. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate and uh, prove and show you an interesting fact on reading the data from GV dollar views in rack environment. So we as a DBAs, uh, you know, uh, when we are working on rack environment, we would probably uh, keep querying GV dollar views. We call them as uh, global dynamic performance views. But uh, how does you know uh, when you query something from GV dollar views? How does an instance will speak to the other instance and get the data? Uh, is there any uh, you know something running behind the screen? Is what this blog will purely explain you. So to start this, uh, what we will do is let us connect to an environment rack environment which I have already set up. So I have a two node rack environment uh, with three scan listeners running, and I have a client server which is a Windows server which is altogether a separate server. And from the client server, let us first connect to the rack environment, which is a two-node rack environment, which is running on Linux platforms. So from there, let us start our study case. And at the end, we will try to understand in total, how is this happening? How is the software uh, of rack or the Oracle database software has developed to actually make this possible to read the data from multiple instances and then show it on one instance how is it possible let us see so as you see just on the screen i am on one of my uh, servers uh, this is the windows server where uh, it behaves like the client server so now let me connect to my two node rack environment which is already up and running on the linux machines on in my data center so let me connect to that so i would just say sql plus system and this is my tns name so so I have connected to one of the servers uh, in the data center that is in a two node rack environment. I have specified all the connection details in my TNS name here. So now let me connect to my server, uh, one of the nodes of the server and then try to check what are the se what is the session details uh, like SID to which instance it has been connected and what program it has been connected etc etc. And let us capture them before we go ahead. So let me connect to my putty. Uh, to my node and this is my node and as you see here so let me drag it up here yeah so I'll connect to my server like this all right so I'll set up the environment variables of my database and uh, it's rag db1 is my database name on this server it's the first node anyway so let me connect to it And uh, I'll fire the query to go and get the data from uh, GV dollar session instead of V dollar session. We will also look up uh, when we query V dollar session what happens and what not. So let me write a query uh, to go and get the result from GV dollar session. So before that, let me set the column sizes of all the columns I'm going to retrieve. So I'm going to fetch four columns from GV dollar session. That is instance ID, SID, program, and what username. So we are going to uh, fire the query now in GV dollar session. So let us see that with the filter, so that we can uh, save the output and uh, precisely look into what we wanted. So let me write it: select SID, comma, inst underscore ID, comma, program, comma, username from GV dollar session, where username is equals to system. So as you see on the screen, uh, now it has been connected to instance ID number one. But if you see in my blog above, you might be seeing that the screenshot uh, that the connection has been established to instance two. Because I have captured it earlier, now I am rerunning it for this uh, video. So it will be quite different, a very small difference that easily understandable. So it is connected to node number one. So definitely when I run uh, the same query, uh, in the same database uh, in V$ session, it's going to work with me because it is in the current instance only to which I got connected now. But if you run the same thing on the second node, so let me connect to my second node and show you, run the same thing on the second node with V$ session. So let me show you that. So on the second node, my instance is RAGDB2 and uh, let me connect to it. 
and run the same query so before that let me set up the columns for it and it is not necessarily required but it will be of good format so that you can easily pick it up without any confusions so this is the one all right so now run the same query on gb dollar session there will not be any difference at all in the output but when you run the same query uh, on v dollar session you don't see any output this is how v dollar session and gb dollar sessions or performance views and dynamic performance dynamic performance views and global dynamic performance views work like so gb dollar is something that goes in queries all the v dollar sessions in all the nodes in the cluster but v dollar session goes in queries the memory component in the same node to which you are connected to because you are running this from the second node there is no session which is connected to the second node with the name system and here we uh, this uh, session has been established to instance number 1 so when you query v dollar session and gv dollar session you can see that a session has been established with a username called system having understood this now how can we understand uh, this gv dollar session is giving us the proper data to understand this i use a very very simple technique as in the uh, beginning we have actually established a connection from the client machine that is my command line console already a username with the system has been established so let me uh, come to that console now and then show you how can i prove that this gb dollar session how does it work at the background so this is the session this is in the command line so i'll have to first format my column so that you see a proper result on the screen so let me do that first so i have set up all the columns formatted properly so now let me copy paste the same command or the same sql statement which i ran here where it was showing me only one row as a result which is from the program called sql plus dot exe now if i run the same thing on my command line console which is from the client machine but remember i am running this from the same uh, username with which i logged in so that means i am trying to check so let me paste it and tell you so i am trying to check whoever is connected with the system user i wanted to list them from gv dollar session that means globally it will give you the answer now you see something interesting apart from 29 sid which is connected to instance id number 1 which is a program called sql plus dot exe apart from this we have two other sessions here so for instance id number 1 there is one a new session that you can see for instance id 2 there is a new session that you can see with 67 so how is it possible because i am trying to query system i am able to see the result the same thing you can do here but if you replace this with sys because i connected to this sql prompt as sys user you will be seeing multiple sessions are connected to all the nodes that's the beauty now with this you must have clearly understood that whenever you query a gv dollar session there are two parallel servers or two parallel background processes created one being connected to node number 1 that is local uh, and the next is being connected to node number 2 and these two background processes are parallel servers so you can pz99 is nothing but the parallel servers background process name which starts from pz99 and it goes to descending order to pz00 if there are multiple maximum or multiple parallel servers required for this query and you can verify this from uh, the document oracle documentations which i have given in the same blog you can get in detail explanation about the background process p n n n that is p three numerics or something like that so if you use a uh, parallel parallelism in any of the queries the uh, parallel background processes name a uh, numbering will always start from p 000 p 001 p 002 something like that but only when you query gv dollar sessions it starts from pz99 and if the another a parallel server is required then it would be pz98 and so on it descends to zero so this is how it works and uh, please remember few things whenever you are querying gv dollar sessions in the rack and now you have clearly understood how uh, the instance is able to go and get the data from multiple instances it is only through establishing new sessions on all the nodes in the cluster So if you have a two node environment there will be two sessions that you can see will be created on each and every node and if you have a three node cluster yes three sessions 
one per each node will be established and if you have a five node definitely five sessions will be established uh, with respect to the complete cluster now the next point that you'll have to remember is in case if your environment is facing a very heavy performance issues please try to avoid querying gv dollar sessions if it is a very big environment because every time when you query gv dollar session it has to go and establish the connection to all the nodes and get the data for you but i'm not saying that you should never use it you know in case if there is a very strong uh, performance deviation in the environment just see that if you can uh, replace gv dollar views with v dollar views and run them on each and every session and try to get the data but it is only an advice but it, things might change and things might uh, be different for each and every environment so thanks for watching my video hope you got something new now